Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where Charlotte's back. I'm back, everybody. It has been a while, hasn't it? It's been ages. And autumn's arrived since you were last on the channel. Yes, my favourite time of the year. <laughs> Here we go. Blackpool Illuminations have just switched on tonight. And uh, yeah, we've been to the Switch On event, haven't yeah, we? it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Something very different. Yeah, over in the tower, of course. This year, we've actually worked with Blackpool Illuminations and did a behind-the-scenes tour, didn't Which we, earlier really in the year? Good, yeah. It was spectacular. So it's going to be really nice tonight. See all the lights on and take you guys for a tour. In terms of the Illuminations, they're going to be running every night, aren't they, Charlotte? Yeah, they're running until the 3rd of January 2022, so you've got loads of time to see them. Plenty of time to come down here and see the lights. We're starting off down here traditionally in Bispam. You can get the tram down to here. It's about a 15-minute ride from the tower. And we're going to walk down part of the Illuminations. You've got all the large tableaus down in this section, including the wonderful bears just behind I us. I love the bears. <laughs> and then, of course, we're going to jump back on the tram, head down to Pleasure Beach, and then come back in this direction and wrap up by the tower, aren't we? Because we there's some new bits at the tower this year, some projections and uh, some other bits to see as well. So uh, yeah, come and join us. Full tour tonight of the 2021 into 2022 Blackpool Illuminations and Charlotte's back, honestly. I know, it's, I'm back. It's so nice to have Charlotte back again. Autumn's arrived. Let's go for a tour of the lights. So the iconic Blackpool Illumination stretch for over six miles all the way down the promenade here in Blackpool. And yeah, in my opinion, for the best experience, you want to start off down here in Bispam because you get to see some of the classics, like the bears just here that are squeaking away just over there, rocking back and forwards, like me and Charlotte. They're so sweet. Oh, we love them. But yeah, these are the ginormous tableaus. And if you haven't already, like I say, check out the behind the scenes video um, that we did. You are right there? Yeah, <laughs> got the uh, balloon man down here. Um, but yeah, we did a nice behind the scenes video earlier this summer. And honestly, it was great to see all of these humongous tableaus up close because uh, honestly you don't realize the scale of the lights do you really <laughs> they are massive but yeah it was a brilliant behind the scenes tour we did there uh, she is hey <laughs> next to uh, alice in wonderland just here but yeah the lights turned on just over half an hour ago and we got the tram straight down here to come and show you the lights but yeah i remember this from when i was a kid alice in wonderland here the huge tableaus with all the lovely lights in but yeah when you've seen behind the scenes it really makes you appreciate just how much work goes into preparing such a display so yeah come down here support the show of course donations can be made when you're making your way through you can drive all the way down the promenade however i think it's much nicer actually taking a stroll through them especially down here in bispam with the larger tableaus oh one of my childhood favorites just over here we got Noddy! Make way for Noddy! Noddy! Oh, I used to love Noddy. Did you watch what Noddy? A classic. Oh, an absolute classic. But uh, we've got lots coming up, haven't we, Charlotte, in yeah, the coming we've got weeks? Loads coming up. <laughs> we, uh, theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Hey, glad you like watching. Oh, it's got some donuts as well. Where's ours? Where's ours? Um, but yeah, like we've got lots coming up, haven't we? Thought we've Park Oktoberfest. Yeah. So, uh, and so much Worldwide. more. Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Right. Oh, glad that you like watching. <laughs> yeah, me and my mum watch you all the time. Oh, awesome. Oh, I'm glad that you enjoy it. Let's Let's uh, carry on having a bit of a stroll down. Here's a look then at the large Egyptian tableau. And yeah, we saw this in bits earlier in the year. Honestly, you've got to check that video out if you've not seen it. You really get to see how much work goes into these. So Unfortunately, though... The mummy isn't working, so I'm going to have to do it for you. Go on. He's in the box, he goes... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, sort of, like, dies. you got to think, it is night number one. I know, so there is going to be teeth. Problem. Yeah, there is. Of course, you know, you've got a thing, especially with them putting this together still during the ongoing pandemic. You know, there is a lot of work to do. So, yeah, we'll probably do a follow up video, I'm thinking, maybe later in the illuminations yeah, we'll back, yeah. and uh, come and show the bits that aren't working yet this evening. So, we've got Postman Pat and Jess the Pussycat just there as well. Where's the letter going to? Blackpool Illuminations. Hey. That's lovely, isn't it? I tell you what, I am pleased to see though, just over here for Doctor Who fans. Yes, there is a Dalek now back out over here. It's had a bit of work done to oh, him as well. Really cool that does with the light. Yeah, it looks really nice. Spinning round at the top as well. Come on, viewers, give us an uh, exterminate. <laughs> here you go. Love how he's spinning round. You get really close to him as well for an awesome photo opportunity. Oh, it's really cool. Yeah, love how he's spinning round on top. And there you go. You've got all the LEDs on the front as well. There you go. Exterminate. Dora the Explorer just over there as well. Another classic. Another classic, Dora. SpongeBob. Oh, what about SpongeBob? SpongeBob's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Love the space bar. There we go. I have to recreate the photo now because Charlotte had a photo with the space bird in Lightworks. And then now he's down here just so that you can see him. I do remember back in the day when these used to hang off from all the street lamps when they're down on the promenade. 
He's massive. You're only just up to his waist. There you go. And Sutty just over there as well. Another uh, classic Sutty. I think we need to uh, recreate this photo. And of course, you can give us a follow on Instagram as well. At CharlotteTPW. And at Theme Park Worldwide and at Sean Sandbrook as well. So give us a follow on Instagram. Spaceman. Oh, time for things to get a little bit spooky. Just over here now, we've got the spooky tree. Oh, I do like him. Colour changing with the witch just at the top there as well with the broomstick moving across. And we've got the haunted hotel just over here as well. Looks like the facade to a ghost train, doesn't it, this? But yeah, it's massive. For this one, actually, you need to stand a little bit further back just to really appreciate the scale of this just here. But yeah, he does shows as well, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that's working. In fact, we've got like an error. Uh, yeah, it's been programmed or something up there. Maybe someone's in the back trying to fix it at the moment. I'm not too sure. But yeah, like I say, you know, it's a big job to put it all together. So, oh, there we go. That's it. I can still see the mouse on there though. There's uh, so much work that goes into these. So you expect it on the first few nights. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, like there's a lot. It's six miles of display to uh, put together. So, you know, there is going to be um, like teething problems along the way. You know, it's a constant job to, uh, to keep this thing going. It really is. Open sesame just down here. Another one of my favorites. Lots of movement on this one. And you can hear the audio from over here as well. This looks nice and fresh. <laughs> Open sesame. I like the donkey. You know what I like on there? The cactus. Oh yeah, because you love cactuses. Love a good cactus. I like him just down there as well, hiding away. Hello. <laughs> oh, look at the Daleks. Oh, here we go. Loads more dots of who. I'm sure there's a lot of people that will be really happy about that. I mean, Richard from Lightworks did uh, give you all a bit of a preview a couple of months ago saying that the Daleks were going to be coming back. And yeah, these look nice. Really like those. They look really fresh. Yeah, they look nice. Good to see. Because again, these used to kind of hang up above the road before. So it's nice how they're a bit closer. And you got the movements down here as well. Of course, the uh, TARDIS in there, the public call box. Oh, they're actually doing audio as well. You hear that? Don't know if it's picking up. But there you go, they are saying exterminate. Oh, they look really good. Love those. Really like the TARDIS there. And of course, all of the Daleks as well. Got Blackpool Rocks just here. Remember seeing this one all folded up actually in uh, different pieces back at Lightworks. Nice to see it back out again though for everyone. Love Blackpool Rocks. Of course, you got a lot of the classic Kiss Me Quick style signage around the outside there as well. Kiss Me Baby Doll, Dream Boy. True love. Charlotte's my true love just over here. Oh, that's lovely. Do you like that? <laughs> it's not actually that busy walking down no, here. It doesn't seem too busy at all. I think everyone's down by the tower. Yeah, because they've done a lot more down there this yeah. year, um, as you'll see when we get towards the end of this vlog. Yeah, definitely. Another tram load of people coming down. Of course, they have also got the illuminated trams as well. I'm not too sure if they're on tonight. We've not seen them yet, but they might be up and down the prom. So if they are, we'll, we'll capture those for you. Basil Brush just up there, still going. Ha ha ha, boom boom. <laughs> there he is, Basil. Love a bit of uh, Basil doing a bit of karate there for you all. Is it karate he's doing? Yeah, yeah, it is karate, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I had a blank moment then. Right, we're making our way down here now to come and see the headlights. Really looking forward to seeing those because thanks to the guys at Blackpool Illuminations. We've got our own. We have indeed, we've got our own headlights. So we're gonna go and spot us I'm now. Excited. It's quite nice actually because we've actually got one of these at home now as well, yeah, which is cool. Nice, so we can put it in a nice frame. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to go and find us now just over here. Whoa, strobing. Wow. Oh, it's dazzling that, isn't it? <laughs> Proper rave down here in Blackpool. So here you go. You've got all the different headlights just over here standing above. So we've got to try and spot us now. I think we are quite low. I've had quite a few people sending us. There we are. I can see us. Can you spot us, Charlotte? There you go. We're here wearing our high vis jackets, rocking them for when we did the uh, the tour. <laughs> but yeah, so throughout the year you can actually pay to have your photo and um, pull. Like I say, they did actually um, do one for us for this year, which is very kind of them. Oh, so I'm going to zoom in a bit for you just so that you can see it there. There we are. There's our headlight for you all to come and see. So what I'd love you to do on our social media. If you are coming down here to the Blackpool Illuminations this year, take your best selfie that you can with me and Charlotte just at the top and send it across to us. So I would love to see. Like we say, the lights are on every day through until the 3rd of January 2022. So if you're coming down here, have a selfie down here pointing up at me and Charlotte and send it across to us on social media. There you go, because we would love to see all of your different photos. 
literally just a couple of seconds after I was talking about it, here's one of the illuminated trams making its way along here on the promenade. But yeah, they're really nice. Just add to the overall atmosphere of the Blackpool illuminations. Really nice. So much nicer than the uh, newer trams that you can see passing by just there. Love it. Hey! Oh, it's so nice to see the illuminations on again, isn't it? It's so nice to see them in person again. Oh, it is. It's great. And of course, it just signifies that autumn is here and Halloween's not far away. Oh, I love Halloween. Let's carry on walking down this way and see some more of the lights. So we just crossed over the tram tracks now to carry on our nice evening stroll down here from Bispam. It's definitely worth coming down to this end there if you are coming to Blackpool Illuminations. And as much as it's nice going along in the car, you really don't get to have time to stop and appreciate all of these wonderful tableaus down here. Because these really are the highlights of the display in my opinion. I absolutely love them. You could walk from the tower down here, but it's going to take you a good 45 minutes to an hour because we are quite a few miles away um, down from the tower itself. So I'd recommend jumping on a tram and uh, starting down here. Yeah, really nice Swan Lake just over there. Looking great with all of the LED lights. Really nice and vibrant. But one of my favourites down here is the hula going on just here. Very tropical, tropical vibes going on down here. And here's Charlotte doing the hula for you all tonight. I hope you enjoyed Just uh, I think all the cars were wondering. I'm surprised you didn't get a honk then, to be honest. Yeah. Give us a honk honk as you're making your way along. Yeah, I love the uh, hula girls just over there in the hula dresses. So we carry on down this way, looking at some more of the wonderful tableaus. But yeah, these are really nice how they work. Because of course you've got to have like three legs on them ones just there to so just have that effect of them going across and two arms very clever really like how it all comes together and they are spectacular to watch a couple of absolute classics just here as well i like how these are all white and green just here you've got the clock over there as well with the mouse running over the top of the clock really nice effect love that so I quite like this one because I like the peacock and then I like the illuminated ones at the bottom. Yeah, they're just static, aren't they, at the bottom there? They're really nice. And the top one, spreading his feathers out he for all to see. He looks a bit like a turkey. He's not a turkey. What are you going on about? He's a like, peacock. He looks like a turkey. I don't think so. He's definitely a peacock. Do a peacock noise for me, Charlotte. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I love the butterfly just up there and the fish. Very nice there, using all the LED lights. And you might be thinking, how much does it cost to run the Blackpool Illuminations every year? Well, if you check out that behind the scenes tour video we did, you will find out in that video because we spoke with Richard, who's in charge of the Illuminations. And yeah, he gave us all that information. It was fascinating. Let's just say it's not quite as much money as you would expect to run the Illuminations. What we got here then, Charlotte? So this is one of my favorites. It's the Sleepy Sun. The Sleepy Sun, everybody, just up there. Oh, I love the sun. I quite like all of them, probably other than this one at the end. He's just a bit, he's pulling a bit of a funny face, that one. I don't know if he's angry, if he's upset or what, but yeah, he's pulling a bit of a funny face. But yeah, I like that one. And the green one kind of reminds me of, of me, to be honest. Like when I go on a ride that I really enjoy. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> when I go on a coaster that I really enjoy, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> of course, we've got Sooty down here as well. And we can actually cross back over the tram tracks now. So yeah, for that, uh, past few hundred feet there, you actually have to come over onto this side. Yeah, we can just cross over down this way and get a little bit closer to the final few tableaus down there because we've got the ginormous pirate ship. Oh, brings back some memories seeing Sooty and Sweep just there. We can make our way now down here to the ginormous pirate ship. Once again, as mentioned by Richard from the Illuminations when we did our tour, he was telling us how this is going to be having a refurbishment over winter, like all the back of the pirate ship. It's going to be having some work done to it in between this year's display and next year's. So yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing that next year. I'm sure they'll give even more of it a freshen up as well as they're doing it. And to be honest, the, the ship itself looks pretty fresh, actually. Looks like they might have done some work to that on the front. But yeah, I really love the size of this one. Of course, sponsored by Coral Island, this one as well. So this is one of the staples of Blackpool Illuminations. Remember this one from when I was a kid. You got the three buses there. Pleasure Beach, Blackpool Zoo, and of course the tower. And there you go, there's a loop just over there. Whee, and comes over on the bike. Really nice effect. You just wouldn't see them built like that anymore. You know, the size of it and just how it's done, you know. In this day and age, it'd be with projections or maybe what, just one motorbike making its way across. But yeah, there's too many to count, but there's loads. I'm gonna guess maybe what, about 20, maybe more, 25 motorbikes all the way around. 
I'm sure someone will comment now and tell me they'll stand here and count exactly how many there is. Um, but yeah, he does the loop round just there. It's 25. Is he 25, is he? Have you just counted that yeah, quick? It's 25. Blimey, that was quick, that was. So again, this one doesn't seem to be fully working at the moment. However, hopefully, we'll have it in action soon. But yeah, that brings us to the end of the lights down here at this end in Bispam. Of course, they carry on all the way down the road. And that's where we're going to have a little stroll now. Just having a walk down the famous promenade then here now. Like I say, if you wanted to, you could walk all the way through them. Take you a good few hours though to walk all the way down the prom. Down to Stargate, just past the Pleasure Beach. That's where the lights start and of course the end down here in Bispam. Or vice versa. Like I say, we're going to do things a bit different tonight because we're actually parked by the tower, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we thought we'll go down to Pleasure Beach and on the tram and then walk back through them. A little bit different order to last year, freshens it up. I like these ones up here though, sponsored by Northern. Yeah, they're very nice with the screen in the middle. Very colourful. Again, the camera doesn't really do these illuminations justice, to be honest. Like, you know, you need to be here in person to see them. So yeah, we're going to jump on the tram just here. They have actually got the Spitfire in the middle of the roundabout again. However, at the moment, it's not lit up. I'm sure it will be soon though. Yeah, hopefully. Um, like last year, they had a couple of big floodlights and yeah, some did. beams going up in the sky. Um, but again, I just don't think they've got them on yet. You know, it's one of them things. They've been really busy getting things ready. And uh, obviously, we still are in a pandemic. So there's been a lot of work. So yeah, we're going to jump on just here. And we're going to head all the way down to the Pleasure Beach now, where we're going to get off. Oh, illuminated tram again. Close up view. Oh, I love it. You might be thinking, hang on a minute, why is the tram not stopped? The illuminations ones, you have to get on at certain stops down at the other end, that's why. So, yeah, he's not just ignoring us. Um, but yeah, we're going to get on the tram. And yeah, it's going to take us down to Pleasure Beach. Then we're going to walk from there, down all the lights, um, towards the tower. Right then, so we just had about a 20 minute ride on the wonderful Blackpool trams and we've made it down here to the Pleasure Beach where we look very blue, don't we? We do, we look so blue. There is a reason why we look blue though. I'm going to spin you around in just a moment and you will find out. Oh, well, this is what I like to see. One of my favourites here at the Illuminations, Venus Reborn has actually been reborn for this year. Like, it looks very good. I don't think it's quite finished yet. In fact, they were still installing these screens just behind the fountains earlier today. So I think there's more to see from this. I think there's some more lights on the back there. You can just see on the right hand side, some of the blue lights that kind of look like a star cloth. So yeah, this isn't finished yet. In fact, there's a techie just over on the left there. So yeah, more work to be done. But I look forward to seeing it when it's done because this will look fantastic um, with all the uh, like lights down the front just here. Like all the strips that they've got bring you a little bit closer but yeah this looks nice fountains look a lot better than they did before as well really good to see very nice and uh, vibrant isn't it just been... it looks really fresh yeah it does and talking of fresh pleasure beach yeah, lovely, yeah. we actually saw some of the pleasure beach maintenance team earlier this afternoon that were replacing some of the bulbs around and pleasure beach looks absolutely stunning at night of course the tallest roller coaster in the uk the big one all lit up there with the floodlights and then as you can see, there's lights all the way down. So yeah, there is some Nickelodeon light um, down in that direction. Not going to walk down that way tonight, because like I said, we're going to do the Golden Mile. Um, but yeah, there is the Nickelodeon lights down that way. And we're going to stroll in this direction, but the casino building over at Pleasure Beach looks great. Worth pointing out, it's not actually the Illuminations team that look after the Pleasure Beach lights. They do them themselves, but it's really nice to see um, that the team at Pleasure Beach have really thought about the lights this year around the casino. And yeah, look at that. We'll uh, look at it from front on, a bit further up this way. Oh, Pleasure Beach looks awesome there with all the lighting. And yeah, they've replaced like all the neon strips on the casino building there, all up the steps. You might think, hang on a minute, it looks like a slide. I can assure you it's not a slide, it's just steps up to the top. Would it be nice if they opened that as like an exclusive viewing observation point where you can just pay like five quid and go up to the top? There you go, that's an idea for you, Pleasure Beach, if you're watching. People would pay for that, I certainly would. I'd love to go up there and get some views across Blackpool Promenade and the park. But yeah, it's nice to see that they've redone all the lights on there as well. A big part of the Illuminations, of course, is sponsorships. And we did speak quite a lot about that, actually, uh, when we did our behind the scenes tour a couple of months ago. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you know, quite a lot of sponsors down the middle. City Fibre, I think this one's new with the green um, lights coming out there from the side. And we've got Beaver Brooks, the jewellers, that are, in my opinion, some of the most impressive lights along the Golden Mile. So we're going to go and see those now. Here we go then. So you've got the Velvet Coaster Weatherspoon just over there. 
If you don't know what Weatherspoon is, it's basically a pub chain here in the UK. I know we have a lot of American viewers here on the channel, but yeah, that's like your classic English pub, but it's a massive chain of them all up and down the country. Good old Weatherspoons. But yeah, that's a nice big one there, the Velvet Coaster. Love that one, especially with the name. But yeah, these lights look absolutely lovely down here. Really like these, like diamonds are shining up there in the night sky. Now this is why I like walking through the illuminations because as you can see, the traffic does get quite, pretty busy. And this isn't actually that busy tonight compared to sometimes, but still you are at standstill at points, especially here on the Golden Mile between the Pleasure Beach and the Tower. Oh, here's a really nice shot for you all. Looking back there towards the Beaverbrook's Jewelers sign, all the wonderful illuminations, and the big one, the tallest roller coaster in the UK, there in the background. What a shot. Only in Blackpool. I do love this place. Like, look at that. The biggest free light show on earth and the tallest coaster in the UK. And I'd say one of the most iconic coasters in the world. You know, that coaster is known everywhere. And it's so nice how they've got it lit up at night like this. The casino building looks great from this angle too. Oh, I love all the strobing lights just up here. And yeah, we're going to carry on down this way now into the next section. Yeah, they look really nice, don't they? Yeah, I love these all above the road. Yeah, these have lovely. changed colour just up here for this year. Oh, you're right there. I think your trailer there needs fastening on a bit better there, mate. <laughs> yeah, we're going to carry on down this way into like the dancey section now. Reminds me of like the Hot Eye Showgirls. Oh, I love Hot Eye. Oh, it's been great. A big show at the Pleasure Beach they have every summer. We've really enjoyed it, haven't we? Oh, we've loved it this year. It's been really good. Definitely worth coming to watch if you're coming to Pleasure Beach over the summer and the first week of the Illuminations. At the time of uploading this, it is still on for another week. So yeah, definitely recommend the Hot Eye Show at Pleasure Beach. Oh, we've got a bit of honking going on over there. A bit of road rage going on tonight. Tone it down. Yeah, we've got all the nice dancers up here. We'll zoom in a bit when we get further down here. Hey, Here's an awesome view then, looking down the promenade towards Blackpool Tower. Really nice and colourful these. Again, the camera really doesn't do these justice, to be honest. You need to come down here, come and support Blackpool, come and see the display. But yeah, I love these, very colourful. So much going on in this section of the display as well. Yeah, I love how there's so much going on with these, because of course, she's there with a the fan, opening it and closing it. Then you've got all the little twinkling lights down here at the bottom as well. And also the fan on the right-hand side in another arm. So much detail on these. Honestly, if you love theme parks and like themed attractions, Blackpool Illuminations is just as fascinating. It really is just to see it all and how it's put together. And even more so after seeing behind the scenes of it all, it makes you appreciate it even more. It really does. I'm going to carry on walking down the Golden Mile now towards the next section. Oh, here we go then. I think this is one of the most visually pleasing views along the whole display. You've got these amazing LED lights just here and the tower down there just behind. The big wheel over on Central Pier. Yeah, I love the view. Really nice from here. Looking down at all these and all the patterns that they do as well. Love that. So many different colours and patterns. And just with the tower and the wheel as well, it really makes it. Here's a look in the other direction then now, straight down towards Pleasure Beach. You can still see the big one over there lit up. Yeah, I do think it's nice how Pleasure Beach have all the park lit up at night. It's good publicity for them as well because everybody driving along here, literally hundreds of thousands of cars, millions of people every year, they're gonna see the big one all lit up, you know, so it's good publicity for the park, having it lit up at night. And it's an illumination in itself, the big one. But yeah, really nice looking down, back towards the Pleasure Beach there, and also South Pier as well. Are you enjoying your walk along the promenade so far? Yes, I'm really enjoying it, but it's a little bit nippy. It, it is, I've donated my other uh, coat to Charlotte. Thank you. Oh, nice, there That's you go. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, we'll carry on down this way, about another 15, 20 minutes, and we'll be down at the tower. So yeah, we'll carry on having a nice little walk along. Right then, down here into the next section now, we've got the chandeliers just up here. Love the chandeliers. Oh my God, look how many flies there is in the air. Oh God, is it snowing or are they flies? Oh, and the flies. Yeah, I love the chandeliers just here and the candles. You wouldn't think it was 11 o'clock at night. That's the good thing with the illuminations. It brings everybody out to the early hours. I think they're on until 1 a.m. tonight. Of course, you can check out the Blackpool Illuminations website. And visit Blackpool, it gives you all the information. It doesn't cost you anything to drive along, but like I say, there is donation points at either end, so you can make some donations to keep this display running for all to enjoy. Yeah, I really like the uh, strobe in the middle and the chandeliers 
on either side there. Very nice. As we gradually make our way down towards the tower, and you can see the big wheel over there as well, over on Central Pier. It looks nice with all the lights on. Yeah, loads of traffic. You're definitely best having a, a walk along and getting the tram for parts of it. And yeah, of course, you've got parts of the display from Bispam down to the tower as well, from the other way that we got the tram down. You got some circus themed lights there and so much more. So yeah, definitely uh, worth having a little stroll through them as well. And if we do come back and do a second vlog at some point during the illuminations, if we get time, we'll uh, film them other bits that we haven't from this trip. Yeah, really nice these ones here with the huge chandeliers and the strobing lights down the middle there. But yeah, I did actually change some of these lamps in that video. <laughs> Honestly, it's well worth seeing if you haven't already. I know I've mentioned it loads, but a really good video to film that was. We had a really good day, didn't we, doing that yeah, tour? Yeah, really fun day, didn't we? Oh, it was so nice. Yeah, big thanks to the guys at Visit Blackpool for arranging that. Really appreciated it. But you know what? I fancy, Charlotte, some donuts. I fancy some chips. You want some chips? Well, we're going to get some chips and donuts from somewhere down here. That's a big part of the illuminations. Let's have some chips. Theme park worldwide on YouTube. Theme park worldwide on YouTube. Check it out. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> they love it. Oh, Charlotte's happy. What you got there? Chips. Got some chips. And I have got... Da, 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 da. Bag of donuts. Lovely. Can't beat a good bag of sugared donuts. Oh, it's what the illuminations is about. You can have a donut there. I'll save you one. Maybe. Or half of one. Yeah, if there's any left. Yeah, nice sugary donuts. There you go, we've got some more nice lights down here. What's not to love though? Walking down here at Blackpool in the cold, nice breeze, looking at the lights with a bag of warm donuts. Autumn has arrived, everybody. Oh, a bit of the Macarena playing over there. What a party classic. Of course, we've still got the lights just here for the NHS and all key workers as well all the multicolored rainbows down here on Blackpool Promenade. Still keeping us going during this pandemic. Of course, a lot of the restrictions may have eased now, but the pandemic is still ongoing. So yeah, a big thank you from everyone at Blackpool with the lights just here, which is really nice to all them key workers. And a big thank you from me and Charlotte as well, of course, for anybody in the NHS and key workers. Keep on going, keep on going. You're doing a fantastic job. I love you all. Oh, we do indeed. Just like them chips. Oh, honestly, these donuts are delicious. They were done fresh as well, which was nice. Very rare that you get something fresh these days, but yeah, they were lovely. Yeah, I do like the NHS lights just up there. As we're gradually getting down towards the tower, and we've got some nice big shiny balls for this year. Ooh. Do you like the sound of that, Charlotte? I love it. There we go, you can just see them down there. Multicolored shiny balls, they look absolutely awesome. So yeah, that's where we're heading down to, just out the front of the tower on the comedy carpet. Just thought I'd show you another zoom in just there of the rainbow lights and the NHS up in lights as well. I really hope that they just keep these moving forward. So I think it'd be really nice just to always keep a section dedicated to our wonderful NHS here in the UK. Oh, got some old classics just up here, of course, with sooty and sweep down there. <laughs> All the arcades always look nice as well. All the lights on. Sea Life's had a new uh, big screen at the top there. Not too sure why they've had another one, because they've had that small screen at the bottom now that's also turned on for a good few years. But yeah, they've gone and had a, another big screen on the top there over at Sea Life. Why not? Go for it. But yeah, the tower looks awesome as well there, multicolored. And whoa, ho, ho, ho. turn the camera around. What are you doing? I'm just enjoying a nice donut. Aren't they nice, don't you think? Yeah, I wasn't too sure at first, but then like I was like, oh no, they're great. Like. He put all the uh, sugar on afterwards. I've never seen that done before. Okay. Normally they dip them in, don't they? But with these, literally, they put, he put them in the bag first, then he tipped the sugar on top. So I wasn't too sure if they were going to be good, but... I love it, Jeremy. Oh, they are really nice. But yeah, we're going to head down to the uh, big, literally, balls of light that you can see over there that look really nice. Nice surprise, new for this year. Coral Island looking good over there with all the lights on as well, which is great to see. And the Golden Mile Amusement. It used to be known as Mr. T's. So we started our tour tonight down in Bispam with the huge tableaus. Made our way down to Pleasure Beach, saw it all lit up. Walked along the Golden Mile. And we've now made it here to the tower headland, the comedy carpet and the iconic Blackpool Tower. Looking awesome there. Again, the camera really doesn't do it justice to be honest, but the tower looks awesome. The big heart on the front there for I love Blackpool. We certainly do love Blackpool here at Theme Park Worldwide, especially with how much time we spend here a year 
But yeah, we do love coming here. It's a happy place, really. We really like it. Yeah, you got all the lights down here at the front. And yeah, the most impressive new addition, I'd say probably the most impressive yeah. illumination now. How good do they look? Yeah, really good, they look. Oh, and the best thing is, these aren't barriered off. You can actually walk directly through them as well. But yeah, these are absolutely huge, made of LED lights. And to be honest, you don't realize the size of them until you get nice and close down here and have a look. I think you'll get quite a nice view kind of to the left of them as well with the tower. Yeah, this is really nice to see. Brand new for this year's display. Oh, wow. I've, I've, this is probably my favorite part of the illuminations now. And I really feel like this is the future for Blackpool illuminations, to be honest. Like, stuff like this, what you can actually walk through and interact with. Uh, yeah, like there's Charlotte in the middle. And there you go, that shows you the size. Wow, how impressive is that? These are really nice. And even we didn't know these were coming. Like, we had our tour around. We didn't see these, did we? We weren't told about these, kept it a little secret, I think, a little surprise. We absolutely love them, all colour changing. That's the magic of LED these days though, isn't it? Yeah, you, know, you got two of these, and then you walk out and you see the tower there. Oh, look at that. And that's the best thing about this, it's all for free. Really nice to see. And come and enjoy. But yeah, I like how they put a couple of these in as well. But yeah, they're massive, probably about, I don't know, six, seven metres tall, I guess. I'm sure Richard will be able to tell us about that. But yeah, very nice. Love those. It's like a big curtain that's open for you to walk through and come and enjoy here in Blackpool. And yeah, if you do love Blackpool, like most people do, you can come down here and you can have a photo with the sign just there as well. Perfect placement. Again, this is new down here for this year. Really nice to see with I Love Blackpool lit up down on ground level as well so everybody can go and stand next to it and have your awesome photo up there with the tower. But yeah, as you can see, we are coming towards the end of this vlog. There's one more little area that we're gonna show you just a little bit further along here at the other side of the comedy carpet before we wrap up this vlog from our 2021 tour of the Blackpool Illuminations on Switch On Night. Now they had this one a couple of years ago. They didn't have this out last year, but it's nice to have it back for this year. Here we go, so you can just walk through the big light tunnel here which is very nice. I like how they don't complete a circle on this first section. And you can walk in, like Charlotte is just there for an awesome photo opportunity. Oh, that's lovely that. Let's take some pictures in a minute. So nice. But yeah, I love this. I can really see this being more of the future of the illuminations, to be honest. Areas what you can walk through like this, especially over the past couple of Christmases, especially last year because of the pandemic, there was quite a lot of like country halls and stuff that did like light walkthroughs. And they proved really popular, to be honest. Yeah, and they had this kind of thing. So people really liked it. It wouldn't surprise me if we started to see more developments of the Blackpool illuminations with stuff like this, because as much as it's lovely driving along in your car, if you're in your car now, you're not gonna be able to come out and see this, you know? So yeah, I can see the future being more stuff like this, to be honest. But yeah, because I think it's really nice. And what a place to wrap up tonight's video here from Blackpool. So nice to get back and see the illuminations switched on for 2021. Oh, look at the tower there standing behind us. What a nice tour around Blackpool Illuminations for this year. Really enjoyed seeing them on again. Yeah, I've really enjoyed seeing them on in person again. To be honest, it doesn't feel like 12 months since we last did this. I know, it doesn't feel that long at all. <laughs> what a year, but yeah, autumn is here like we mentioned earlier on. There's nothing like coming to Blackpool, having some chips and a bag of donuts. Oh, yes. With your loved one, having yeah. a stroll through the lights. That's what it's all about. We'll be having numerous trips to the Illuminations. Yeah, we'll come down a few more times. We always do, but we've mentioned it lots throughout this video but I'll mention it one more time check out our exclusive behind the scenes tour that we filmed earlier this summer it was a really unique opportunity and we really appreciate the fact they invited us down to do it it Definitely, was great yeah it was such a good thing to see just seeing light works and everything in storage and then seeing it all out again now and yes there's been a few bits that haven't been working tonight or switched on yet but if you watch that video you'll really see why there's so much goes yeah, into because it it's the first night you can be expected I reckon a few nights from now we'll have them bits fixed that weren't on and in general you think there's six miles worth of lights here here. there's so, so much to it there really is but if you are coming down don't miss the lights in Bispam 
So many people come here, I don't think they realise that you've got that big section yeah, there. Yeah, you need to go and check them out. Head down to Bispam, um, go and get the tram down there, check them out, and then of course you can carry on making your way down, similar to what we've done tonight, and see all the other different lights. But yeah, in terms of my favourite thing here now, definitely these big two uh, light up yeah, walls. they're really good, but I like the smiley sun. Oh, nice to see the TARDIS back as well, and of course the little Doctor Who section, that was nice. Um, yeah, I really liked seeing that again. And so uh, yeah, just in general, Venus Reborn, that's looking good as yeah. well. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing that when it's fully finished. Yeah, especially with like the screens when they get them working again. And as always, the tower uh, always looks nice there, as you can see just behind us. But there we go. Thanks for joining me and Charlotte. Nice to have you back in a video I'm again. Back. Oh, it's not going to be long though until you're back in another one. No. Uh, we've got quite a bit coming up. So we're going to be doing Thought Park Oktoberfest. Yes. We're going to be heading back to the Harry Potter tour at oh, Warner I'm Brothers so Studios. For that. We haven't been for a few years there. No, we've not. And then coming up in a couple of weeks' time, we're actually going to be heading on a Europe road trip to various different parks. Ooh. Me and Charlotte. Uh, so we can't wait for that. Looking forward to it. Yeah, lots to look forward to. And then we'll be into the main Halloween run, really. Yes. Thought Park Fright Nights, Alton Tower Scare Fest, and so much more coming up. But uh, there we go. From Blackpool, switch on night here at the Illuminations, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you in the next video.